everyone. Welcome back to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. Today's recipe is the perfect pork tenderloin. Now before we get into the video, let me ask that you show your support for my channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing, as well as visiting our website for the written recipes and the macros at www.ketowithlee.us. Also, so excited to announce that we have an online store where you can purchase motivational merchandise. That's at teespring.com slash stores slash Sonia Lee. I put the links in the description and you can also get for a limited time only 15% off. One five. Or one five. Now, let's get right into this video. Okay everyone, we're gonna start off by making our wet rub. So, I'm gonna start with the lemon juice. You can use, use, a, use lime juice as well, if you prefer. Now here I have olive oil. If you're going to use coconut oil, you can do that or avocado oil. And all these measurements, please remember, they're on my website. In here, I have minced garlic. If you don't like any of these ingredients, go ahead and um, substitute them for what you like. This is just the base and you can build off of that. So, sorry. <laughs> In here we have black pepper, and if you've seen any of my other videos, I also tend to use the white pepper. Let's get fancy with it. And in here is my oregano. I love to use the Dominican style of oregano, which I find in my local bodega. And in here I have some pink Himalayan salt. All right. Give that a good swirly, whirly, whirly. And there we go. There is our wet rub. So I'm going to place the tenderloins. Let me clean this up a moment. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my gloves. Oh, and I'm gonna mention now that for a limited time only, um, I did mention in the beginning the merchandise store. Um, take a look at it, it's pretty neat. Um, the material I created, which is very, very exciting. Um, take a look at it and also know in the description, I'm giving you guys uh, for limited time 15% off um, on any merchandise that you purchase, okay? So now you see our tenderloins. Now typically with the keto diet, we don't trim fat, right? I mean, you can if you want to. Oh, it's very tender. You could if you want to. So I'm just gonna leave it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and season. Everything's in our wet rub here. Giving it a good stir. And I am going to pour it on here. Ooh, all the salt. Now, another way of doing this kind of a rub is by taking all the dry ingredients and seasoning the meat first and then pouring over the um, wet rub. That's another way. So now I'm just gonna get my hands in it and I wanna make sure that it's all covered. All right, and we're gonna let this sit 
Now if you ever have your meat refrigerated, any meat that you go to cook, um, make sure that it gets to room temperature um, and then season it and, um, and then you can put it to cook. Now this particular tenderloin, we're gonna be making it in the oven and we're gonna let this marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now you can make this ahead of time and let it marinate overnight, which I always say will be even better. So once this is marinated, we'll be right back. I'm gonna dump the juice. You see how it releases juices. I'm gonna check. We're looking for 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That's for pork. Well done. Nope. We are not there yet. So we're gonna go back in the oven. I'll tell you something really quick before I put it back in the oven. See the juice here? Just go ahead, I'm trying to do this with one hand guys, sorry. Go ahead and just kind of baste it, I guess you can say. But um, just do this, or you can turn it over, but I'd rather not. I'm just gonna do this. Then I'm gonna put it back in the oven until we reach temperature and it browns. All right, see you soon. Now we're at temperature. And you see how it's browned a little bit? So I have, I think I, we have the juices in there because I don't want these to dry up. Um, so I'm gonna baste them again and I'm gonna put them, it's too dark, sorry guys. It's uh, stormy weather here in Florida, hurricane season, so I'm not getting much light in here. Um, I want them to brown a little more. So I'm gonna do that again, but I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna serve it and you're gonna see how juicy this is. Thanks for watching.